This is the last part of the assembly. We need to put the connected part into the robotic arm. This one is the servo 5. It is the assistant servo horn side. Put the bracket into here. We need to put the M25 self-tapping screws in here. On the main servo horn side, the screws are different. Put the 3 to 6 screws in here. Pay attention to the position of the screws and take the 3 pin servo weld. Put the connector into the servo 5. This side is the assistant servo side, so we need to assemble them in the same side. The ID4 and the ID3 has the sticker number and interface, so it also the assistant servo horn side. Connect the other end of the servo wire into the servo 4. Then put it to here. Screw the two to six in these four holes. Four servos in here total. Let's come to the another side. This one is the main servo horn side because it without the interface. Also use the 226. Take another servo wall. This time is the 5 cm. This part is the servo 2. We need to put the side with the longer parts and with the holes in here. All of them has the interface. So the interface should be same in this side. Insert the servo wire first. Put it on and then it should be this side. And use the two to six screws in the four holes. Same as the main servo horn side. It's finished now, but the servo walls are long. We can use the rivet to put them together. Put the rivet here and use the nut to put them together, which makes the robotic arm more clean and easy to operation. This is the direction of the nut. The wrist part should be faced inside. Put another rivet here. The robotic arm is very straight and all the servos are in the one line. Next part, we are going to the controller. This is the controller of the X arm. Take the 3 to 6 screws here and use the plastic peeler to tighten with the controller. Take the silver wire and insert it in the bottom of the robotic arm. and put another end through this small hose. Take it out from here and we will insert it into the controller. Put the controller in this four holes. Pay attention to the position of the base bracket. 
Then come to the bottom, put the 3 to 6 screws in here. We can insert this servo well into the any port of the controller. Be careful of the connector direction. Now the XM is finished assembly. Next part we can connect it with the USB cable to the computer and to have a look of the posture after power on. So more details please see the next episode. Thanks for your watching.